In the bag on my shoulder, I have what I think could be the complete set of golf clubs for mid to high handicap golfers in 2020. I know we're a bit late, but let's do it. And let's do it here. Hi everyone, James Robinson here guys. First things first, um, guys, welcome to the channel. If you are new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button below. If you're not new here, welcome back. Leave us a like if you do enjoy this video. Today we're talking about the best bag possible, in my opinion, for mid to high handicap golfers in 2020. Like I said in the intro, I'm well aware we're a little bit late, but better late than never. Real quick one, I know I haven't discussed exactly what's in this bag with you yet. It's right down here. I'm looking at what they all are. Guys, if you want to see me play 18 holes with this set of most forgiving golf clubs of 2020, get in the comments below and leave a like. 2,000 likes and we'll do it. We're giving it away. Let's get back to the video. So let's start with wedges. And you might think wedges, you need a full set of matching wedges. They all need to be the same brand, the same make, the same color. I'm not a massive fan of that. So what I think you need are wedges that match your desires, match your skill level, and more importantly, match what you're trying to do with your game. So for me, the best wedges which you can go for, for a bit of forgiveness, are these Callaway Mac Daddy CB wedges. They are absolutely awesome to look down at. You can't tell that they've got this um, huge sole and loads of bounds, and you can't even tell that they've got this huge cavity in the back but they have, so it's helpful. So for me, I'd have a couple of those in there. This is a 52, which I think is fantastic. They do a 52, a 56, and a 60. So you can get different lofts, different variations, but I don't think you need more than one of them because when you're on a bad lie or when you're not quite sure that the technique's there, it's lovely to have this. But if you try opening the face of one of these and sending it over a bunker, it's not the easiest club to work with. This, however, is. So as well as a Callaway Mac Daddy CB wedge, I recommend we have something in there which you can manipulate, which you can potentially send up in the air, which you can use a bit of imagination with, but still has that element of forgiveness, still has that real element of help behind it, which these Mizunos most certainly do. How are these not in my bag? So one thing you can do here with the Mizuno EZ21 wide sole is you can still open the face up and you'll see that the leading edge just sits a little bit closer to the ground. So the exact club I've got here is the Mizuno ES21. It's the wide sole variant, so it's got plenty of help underneath there. And it's also got a center of gravity which is positioned right in the middle of this head for that element of the miss strike for forgiveness for pretty much all things mid to high handicap short game really. So much so, me and Chris did a one club challenge with this and Chris couldn't thin it. Oh, best of the day. Still can't thin it. It's impossible for you to miss it one, isn't it? I mean, you felt like a thin that. Short but... game wizard. Like he just couldn't, I could, he couldn't. So there's, there's help for you guys and not me. Irons. Now, irons will be no surprise to you because if you've seen my top five forgiving irons of 2020 to 2019, something like that, you will know that I am a huge fan of these Ping G7. Oh, that's gone absolutely miles. I'm a huge fan of these Ping G710s. They're absolutely awesome to look down at again. I do think that the black element of them just makes them look that little bit sleeker when really there's nothing sleek about these irons, they are massive. And I don't potentially mean massive in a bad way, I mean massive in a, you can hit this pretty much anywhere on the face way, and you're still gonna get it out there a long way, pretty straight. Now I'm well aware that you may be in the comments saying, this is mid to high handicap clubs, what if I'm really bad at short game, but really good with a driver? What if I'm really bad at, well, everything? And I've sort of set this video up in a way that will help the majority of you with the clubs in question. So I've gone down the route of probably best mid-high handicap club in that area to fill the bag up. So you may know what a couple of these clubs are. You may not know what a couple of the clubs are. But as for the irons, I mean, all day. All If you're looking to make golf easy, for me, these are the best. And the ones that look pretty cool as well. Even in the bag, they just look really cool, don't they? So that's irons ticked off. And now I hear what you're saying. Irons great, wedges good. Talk to me about the good stuff. Talk to me about the hybrids. Now I've got, I've got two hybrids in here, I'm not gonna lie, 
One of them is, well you can see here, one of them is the Callaway Maverick Max. It's absolutely massive, it's really square faced, it looks really easy to get on with and it's not really draw bias like it's sibling the B21. You see in the videos that I have been doing on mid-high handicap roundups, a lot of people have said, just checking where we're going here obviously, a lot of people have said how is the B21 not in there and for me it's not in there because bad golfers miss it left as well as right. And I'm a prime example of that. So if your bad miss is left, but you still want a forgiving club, the B21 is no good. I'm trying to cover this for everyone. So as you can see here again, looking down at this Callaway Maverick Hybrid, it just looks forgiving, doesn't it? It's got that nice square face. It looks like it's gonna be full of forgiveness because it is. It almost looks like a fairway wood, doesn't it? And that's something which I'd say as well, don't be scared to put, Oh, so forgiving. Don't be scared to put a seven wood in the bag, a five wood in the bag, a nine wood in the bag. There's tour players at the moment gaming seven woods on the European and PGA Tour. Why? Because it's way easier than trying to hit a four iron, a six iron, a five iron, a three iron. Ooh. And obviously this video is subjective, so it's really important to me and to you that you go and try these clubs, that you go and get fitted for them, you go and see what works for you, what doesn't work for you. Because just because I think it's the best doesn't necessarily make it the best. You know what I'm saying? Right. So there's a second hybrid in here, which you may have spied already, and it's, um, well, it's, it's short, but in a good way. Yes, 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 we are talking Cobra one length. And you see, for me, this is a perfect club for players of mid-handicap, high-handicap, people who just struggle with long irons because it's, well, it's not a long iron, it's not a long hybrid. It's got the length of a seven iron, as you can see here, it feels, it feels like cheating basically. We've got the split rails on the bottom and it just doesn't feel like you can really, I mean, that's insane. It just doesn't feel like you can really miss it. And I think it's a fantastic club for if you're not quite feeling your driver off the tee, you're not quite feeling your long irons, you feel like your three wood isn't working, or even those shots where you want to poke it through the trees, those shots where you want to just play a little low one like that. It's such a versatile club that I think it would have a place in most golfers' bags, let alone a mid-handicapper or a high-handicapper. So there are the two options for hybrids. Fairway wood, there were loads of options, but the one for me which is the best is, um, well, it's down. It's there. And I'm well aware that I've kind of given the game away a little bit with the head covers in this video and things like that, but I really don't mind. I just want to show you guys what I think are the best clubs. So um, for me, the fairway I'd have in is the Sim Max. It looks massive. It feels like it's got loads of help behind the ball. It's not a draw bias. It's not anything particularly specific. And that's what I look for when we are talking mid-high handicap golf clubs, because let's be right, That's why we're mid-high handicap, isn't it? There isn't a specific miss. You just want to cover all your bases and that's what I feel like this club does. There's loads of notables that you could mention in here. There's the Callaway Maverick Max. There's the Cobra Big Tour. There's the Shrixon. There's the Cleveland. There's the Mizuno ST200. There's loads of clubs, but I felt this one was the best. Let's talk drivers. And you may note that I've just said drivers and not driver because you've all seen the Cobra head cover in the bag for this video. But what you haven't seen is a little alternative, which I'm going to show you first. So you guys who stuck till the end of the video, just say, James, I stuck. No, say I'm here, stuck. Um, I still think this has got a lot of beating to do. This is the tailor-made original one. It's obviously the shorter, smaller headed, more lofted version of a driver. And I still think mid-handicappers could do worse than gaming this. The one thing you, you do lose is um, maybe a little bit of distance. But aside from that, what it gives you, or what it gave me, was the confidence just to hit fairway after fairway after fairway. And every time I get this out, I wonder why aren't you using it? Why aren't you gaming it? Why don't you have it in there as well as your driver? And I can never answer it really. Maybe I've got to think about it a bit more. That is an alternative, that is an option. If you do struggle with driver massively and you're one of those guys who says, James, I don't want a driver, I don't need a driver, I can't hit a driver, just try that one. Um, so the other one, 
or the, the main one I suppose you could say and you've all seen the head cover you'll know exactly what it is it came number one in my top five forgiving drivers of 2020 it's the Cobra Speed Zone Extreme cheap as well so Yorkshire and all that this was off the back of the Cobra F9 which was an awesome driver everyone loved it everyone loved the price everyone loved the performance and everyone thought where can Cobra really go from there and then they came out with this and everyone was like yeah yeah and you see i know a lot of people don't like this because of the garish colors because of the name and because of the marketing behind it but a lot of people who are new into golf this year love it for that very reason they love the colors they love the name they love the fact that it's maybe set at a younger audience or audience towards that younger golfer and i love it as well so guys for me that is I can't do it. I was going to hit it the camera, but I can't. So guys, that is the forgiving bag for me of 2020. I've just remembered that I've forgot to talk you through putters. And putter is a really interesting one because different putters suit different people, as you all know. So I'm not going to go too much into it. For me, if you are new to golf, if you're looking to make golf as easy as possible, this thing. This is the XO 2 ball from Odyssey Callaway. And I think it's just absolutely so forgiving. It's so big. It's so easy to line up. I should definitely have used one of the, the white balls for that, but we'll carry on. It's also full of tech as well. So we've got the stroke lab shaft in there to help you with a little bit more consistent distance control. And we've also got a lovely thick grip on there. I do like that for a lot of beginner golfers. I know Foxy absolutely loves his. He feels like it takes his hands out of it a little bit and just uses his shoulders more. So guys, that is for me, the most forgiving full golf bag of 2020. I really hope you've enjoyed that video. I really hope it helped anyone who's looking at potentially getting something for a new set maybe a full set remember guys go and try these for yourself go and get fitted if you'd like to see me play golf with these and see what we can score get in the comments below and let me know 2000 likes remember and we'll do that we'll play 18 holes with that full set and see if it can uh, it'll probably help me to be fair anyway won't it so, so guys all that's left to say is thank you so much for watching i really hope you've enjoyed it if you have make sure you do hit that subscribe button below leave a like and as always i'll really look forward to seeing you all tomorrow bye